thank you very much i'm still not connecting on youtube yet um hello geraldine yes i'm sorry about that i don't know what's going on excellent i see it says excellent connection so we'll we'll see what happens now um, i shan't do it again this if we don't go on oh there we are i think we're there on youtube that was um at an event wasn't it um miserable in bromyard bromyard did i say before i used to have a, an uncle in bromyard this is going back donkey's years um my uncle len um he was my great uncle he was my grandma's brother and he used to make carvings of um like Herod, herefordshire cattle and things like that out of wood and it was fascinating because he just um he took a knife and the knife was so worn down it was like a little curved blade and he'd chip like, lumps of wood and then this amazing carving would, would just occur. I've still got a few bits and bobs of his as well. It was, it was amazing. Um, used to um, grow his own tobacco as well, which I don't think is entirely legal. Uh, hello, everybody. Oh, hello. Hello, Lisa on uh, YouTube. Currently is in the Netherlands. Um, yeah, so we're a bit late on YouTube. We had problems connecting, so I had to reset everything. So that's why we're, we're a little bit late. It took five minutes. That's not so bad, is it? Uh, thank you very much, my daisy. Um, hello, Shelley um thanks lisa and mary's in scotland in paisley hello mary um elizabeth's just putting her nose on rosie if you're not a member of the half yard club you won't have a clue what she's talking about um denise watches on tv via youtube but chat on facebook don't you love technology anyway there's now i haven't got a lot of newness to show you considering it's a wednesday and normally on a wednesday i've got a whole pile of fabric and the house is for actually the house is full of fabric but you're not seeing it yet um we do have back in stocks so things like the um the honey beige fleece we've got back in stock today that's the one that uh, Rosie the Reindeer has made out of with the wine red that's back in stock the white fleece is back in stock i can't believe how much fleece you're buying at the moment but those are all back in stock you'll find those on the website on debbieshawsewing.com the eyes are back in stock and i'm not sure if we're going to be getting any more of these because uh, they take ages to come but you've got 100 eyes in different colors and they're the safety eyes so you get the backs off them as well those are the eyes that i used on rosie the reindeer so those are back in stock too and the William Morris fabric is back in stock. Now we sold out of every scrap that we had within about an hour of it uh, launching last week, but we have got some more back in stock now. Now the reason I'm not uh, giving you, um, hi Sarah, uh, Sarah. Um, the reason that I'm not giving you lots and lots of new stuff today is because on Saturday we're going to have a sale. Oh, I know. Um, so 10.05 a.m. in Florida. Oh, hello, Elaine. Welcome along. Yeah, so um, there will be new stuff going. It's only a weekend sale, so just Saturday and Sunday. I think we're going to start about 8 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. And everything Christmas will be in there. Everything Fat Quarters will be in the sale. There's an awful lot of poplin going into the sale. So it's not everything across the whole website, but there, there's, there's hundreds of lines that we're putting in the sale. And the reason being, we've outgrown our warehouse. We can't fit anything in. So we do have lots of new stuff coming in for next week, but we, it's all in our living room. We're, like that. We're, all, we're all sharing the TV evenings with fabric at the moment. It's great insulation. We don't have the heating on at all. Um, so that's why. Oh, Deirdre's bought some William Morris fabric. Lovely. What are you going to make with it? Kim's been making bags and cushions. Um, oh, a glasses holder. Alana, what a, where is he? What a lovely idea. Using the gnome as a glasses holder. That's, that's a fantastic idea. I love that one. Um, hi, Alan. Making his own stamps. That's inventive. Hello, Dawn. Hello, Sharon. Yeah, so it's not everything on the website will be in the sale. Um, I, I just want to politely ask you if you mind waiting a few extra days for your delivery because last time we had a sale it took us about a week to get through everything um and oh if you're a half yard club member you still get your 10 percent off on top of the sale prices so you won't get a different discount code for the sale items you've still got your half yard club discount code but if if say we take 10 percent off something you get your 10% on top of that. Some items are going to be 20% off, 30% off. You'll get your 10% on top of that as well. So actually for sale, it's worth joining the Half Yard Club for, isn't it? Um, hello, Ian. Oh, hello. And um, 
Sheila nearly missed me. I nearly missed you as well. Couldn't I couldn't get logged in this morning. The Wobble Trees Dawn are um, of one of the YouTube, um, um, what's the names? Videos, tutorials, if you want to make one of those. Those went on last week. Um, oh, hello, Princess Morningstar. Something new I do want to show you. And I, I think I'm just going to make a coffee. Mm -hmm. Hello, Sue in Brisbane. Something we have got new. And the new things like this won't be in the sale. Who's been loving the rainbow stuff? Hmm? Rainbow scissors, rainbow storage, rainbow D rings, rainbow everything. We've got rainbow tweezers now. These come in pairs, and you know they're they're really nice. And look how they like the points, just meet at the point. Love a good pair of tweezers, don't you? So fantastic for um, threading up your overlocker or your serger. Great for picking out little bits of thread when you've had to use your um, your quick unpick for feeding stuffing into Tilda doll legs. And we've got three colours for them. So we've got the rainbow. I'm not sure these are the exact or what they're called, but there's a lilac. I'm not sure what colour this one's called, but it's like an aqua colour. And remember, it's a pack of two of those. They do look like dental. Oh, don't, Lisa. Don't talk about dental tools. I've got flashbacks to last week. <laughs> but they do actually um, so yeah th those are brand new in today just to let you know um, shout out to Cyprus says oh what's that oh sorry I missed you you've gone you've gone again where have you gone shout out to Cyprus says I'm determined to find you now um, hi Christine Will you get the buckets for the wobble trees back in stock? We sold out of those. I don't know they're gone. Yes, we can get those back in stock again, Deirdre. It'll be a couple of days. Sue Kim, shout out to Cyprus, she says. Um, Sharon loves the Half Yard Club. Thank you, Sharon. Hello, Christine. Uh, who's over here then? Um, I did, I did, was that me, Lisa? I did do very well. I did do very well, did I not? Dear. I was saying last week after I went to the dentist, I was made to feel very old. You're doing really well. Did I tell you, I remember when um, my mum went into hospital, she had pneumonia. It was actually not long before she died. Um, but she was in quite a bad way. We thought we were going to lose her there and then. And um, my, my mother was very, very clever, very smart, very on the ball. She could beat Carol Vorderman like, in an instant. She was a, a very smart woman. And um, we went to visit her in hospital. And uh, her name was Mary. And uh, the, the nurse was saying to her, You're all right, Mary, going to eat your dinner? And she just turned around to me and said, She thinks I'm deaf. She said, You're all right with needles? Tell her I can knit. Yeah, she was, she was very smart, my mum. Um, my hubby keeps calling me dear. I know, dear. I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not a fan. Oh no, someone's had a was that reaction to antibiotics? Oh Jenny, oh nothing worse than a toothache, is there? Um hello Chrissy in Plymouth. Welcome along. No news on the pet fabrics yet. Don't know when they're coming in, still waiting. Um who's sixtieth birthday? Thanks for coming to my party. I didn't see I didn't see who that was, but happy birthday. I'll catch up later. Murky in Romford. Since he's in Texas. No, it doesn't make us old, does it, Cynthia? So just because I'm of a certain age, don't shout at me. I can still hear you. Um, Jan's in Port William in Cornwall. Hello. Pretty pink witch Laura in Leeds. Should we get these things done then? All right. I said they're not they're not my idea, but I just um, I just haven't made one before, and I just I really enjoyed doing it. You know, you, I mean, they're all over the place, but I. It was the first time I've done it. And when I was there playing with different shapes, this is a little bit wonky because that's my, my prototype. I didn't measure everything, but that's using the hexagon. I thought that was quite effective as well. So we'll have a go at that as well, if you like. Hello, Diane in Nevada. Um, now, size-wise, this one's using an 8-inch circle, and that's one using a 7-inch circle. So it, it makes quite a difference in the sizes. So you could go bigger, you could go smaller even as well. And all I'm using is a plate. Actually, I'm not sure of the size of that one. Let me find my tape measure. I'll give it a measure. Um, 
that's eight inches so it's 20, 20 centimeters that one and these are the fabrics i'm going to use um, i think it's quite nice to have the plane for like the, the petal shapes and you don't really see too much of the backing one so i'm not, I'm not too worried about that as long as it's something that um that kind of matches um, Catherine's taken a break from making homemade sourdough. Oh, I love sourdough. Um, out of my own sourdough starter with flour and water. Oh, nice. Um, nice play. <laughs> Thank you very much. Not sure where that one came from. I've got to read that. Um, Sarah's 50th tomorrow. Happy birthday for tomorrow, Sarah. Best press should be back in stock. Best press should be back in stock. I'll have a word with my daughter. Because if it's not here at the moment, it should be it should be here any time now. Um, who's 60th birthday? Oh, missed it again. Just turn it. Tree decorations, favourite sewing machine, shopping for a spare. Um, I, my, my, sewing, my main sewing machine is a Janome 6600, which isn't actually made anymore. Um, I like Janome and I like Elna, same company. This is an Elna sewing machine that I have down here. This is the one that I bought um, for Kim to use at, at the office as well. So I like Elna, I like Janome. I think if you go for a big brand name, you can't go wrong with whichever one you choose. So have a think about which what, what functionality you want from a sewing machine. What are you going to use it for? Is it going to be on the go all day long? Do you want an alphabet? Do you want lots of embroidery stitches? A needle up down, I think, is useful. I like a needle threader. I know a lot of you don't, um, but I do personally. Maybe a speed control on the front of the machine is important to you. Um, mine have, but I never use them. Um, but if you don't use your legs, then that's the only way that you're going to sew. Or you can slow down the speed if you think that the foot pedal is going a bit too fast for you. Um, are you going to do free motion embroidery? Do you want to drop the feed dogs? That would be a, a good thing to look for. But I think if you go for a good brand where you get support and you, there's a helpline, so that could be anything from Husfana or Faf or Brother or Toyota. These are all, all have British bases. Um, then you, really, you, you can't go wrong. So have a think about your budget and uh, what kind of functions you want on the machine and then do a bit of research there. Janet's mother-in-law went into hospital. Doctor asked her if she knew where she was, what was the closest town, and she answered Tavistock. He said it's Plymouth. She promptly replied, Plymouth is a city, not a town. Oh, good for her. I would love to stories like that. That would have been my mum, absolutely. Um, lovely day in Alabama. Nice to hear. Um, right, so I've got both of my pieces together. Just avoid that um, selvage, and I'm just going to draw around and cut out the circle it's ever so easy this it's not not challenging thank you morag Mora is wishing happy birthday to everybody in the next few days hello trisha in cambridge happy birthday angela so literally going to cut out the circle with the scissors that are back in stock on the website fyi Marion says it's good to be back on the live. Thank you, Marion. Bought a new sewing machine, so not computerised. Mm. It's always, always fun to have a new sewing machine, though, isn't it? So I have to take notice of my daughter when she texts. Best Press is back in stock now. Thank you. See, we're on the ball. You know, we, we, we get things done here. Um, Leslie went from a sewing machine and embroidery machine combo to separate machines. Oh, okay. I, I, I know you can get, you know, both. You can have an embroidery machine, you can have a sewing machine and the combos. But I was thinking if you're going to use an embroidery machine, wouldn't you like to leave that embroidering while you're using your sewing machine? Because if you've got a combo, you can do one thing at a time. Is my opinion. Did you enjoy sewing time with Vienna? Yes. Oh, Sarah, she, she did sew. She did most of the sewing. There was a lot of glue in as well, which is which is quite fun. Um, but she she was going in and out of the holes and she just went, Grandma, my arm aches. So I'll, I'll do a bit for you then. Yeah, she was very proud of that. She was at home to show her daddy. Um, oh, Lorraine went to the NEC in Birmingham. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Didn't get a chance to go. So just cut, I'm cutting both pieces of fabric here remember save that I'm just going to put my eye in while we're here Patricia has both yeah I think that's, that's a good idea 
drain bags. Oh, oh, gosh. So, Angela, so drain bags. I'm thinking the drains. You're putting bags in your drains. Um, just made some more drain bags for the gynecology ward. Oh, that's so nice. Are, are there shortages of things like that? Because if you if you know of any, you know they had a shortage of. Um, Little girls' dresses for South African charities once upon a time. At least didn't you do something with South African children's charity? Um, and then um, they were overwhelmed. They got they just got too many people. Like everybody just wanted to get involved, and they, they just had too many things. So when they had the um, the bushfires in Australia a couple of years ago, they were inundated with the little pouches and things for um, baby kangaroos and everything that were left um, orphaned. Um, but if you know of anything or anybody that's looking for any of the sewing that needs doing. I'm sure we can do a shout out and we'll get lots of people involved in this if you if you like that. Morning Shirley. Carol's hubby cuts while she sews. <laughs> okay. So put these two pieces right sides together. And all we're going to do is sew all around the edge and leave a small turning gap so I can turn it the right side out. The smaller the turning gap, the less or oh, the, the neater it's going to look. But if you leave it too small, experience talking, it takes ages to turn it through. So I'm literally just going to sew all the way around the edge. All, all of Karina's machines, all of them, how many machines have you got? I only have the two. One down here and one down there. All right, so I'm so I'm, I'm actually going quite close to the edge here, but hey ho. Just going around the edge. Can you see better from there? So I've normally used about a quarter of an inch seam allowance, but I seem to seem to be rather close today. Let's go to. Oh, and I've only left about an inch. So it may, may take me a while to turn this through, but let's, let's see how we go. That one inch hole may turn out to be a little bit bigger. Um, just make sure I've caught it all. The inter International Dresser Girl. Oh, do they still want those, Elizabeth? The International Dresser Girl project. I'll have a look at that when we've, um, when we've finished. Oh no, Lorraine. I am broken, tripped out the electric. My toaster does that quite a lot. Renee's going to be celebrating her birthday this month as well. Happy birthday, Renee. Um, not clever enough for the... Oh, oh missed you. So that my, my messages are just scrolling all the time. So sorry, I'm not keeping up with everybody. Not clever enough for the embroidery machine or overlock yet. Still very much a novice. Um, Jenny, I, I did have um, an embroidery machine. I don't use it very often, to be honest. So um, I make bags for my local oncology. Oh, you've gone. Um, unit for terminally ill patients. So carry the syringe drivers and stoma covers for kids. Please ask your local oncology unit if they need them, especially male designs as the NHS don't provide them. I think I need to go back through all of your comments, don't I? When we're finished. So um, I'll take note of all of these and we'll, we'll see what we can do. Janet's got a seven. That's just, that's just greedy. Oh, and an, over <laughs> and an overlocker, so eight, honestly. Oh, I suppose I could say I've got three with my overlocker. Um, male designs. We'll have a think about that. Let's go to, oh, had, had my birthday. I'm, Jane had a, lots of birthdays, aren't there? I suppose, I suppose birthdays are every day. Um, so all I'm going to do is to iron with the seam right on the edge as neatly as I can. Do you know, I iron something, glue, glue up on that side and it's still sticky. Mum passed almost 25 years ago, she had a syringe driver and it went in a bag hung around her neck. Oh, wow. Oh. All right, so let's fold the opening inwards. And try and keep it as round as I can. This is what I'm saying about um, a smaller opening. It's very difficult to get as hot to get a um, 
a curved seam when you're sewing an opening closed but not, not terribly important. Sewing Box Tutorial has got a new cordless two-in-one iron today. <laughs> oh, congratulations. Um, right, I'm just going to sew or top stitch all around the edge. Contrasting thread might be nice on this one, but hey, I've got this. Um, so about an eighth of an inch or a couple of millimetres from the edge and I think I'd, it looks nice I think to have top stitching but um, it closes the opening when I get to it as well so I don't have to hand sew that bit there will be hand sewing in a moment just to warn you okay so just feeding that through my try and make it nice and even because this will be noticeable on the outside all, oh, there's me opening, that's not too neat. Just fold you under. I should get my me, me new tweezers on this, shouldn't I? In you go. That will do. I'll try and hide that bit when we fold it. That's it. Ladrina doesn't have a sewing machine. Everything by hand. Big glue on that. Oh, let me just trim this thread off. Syringe driver bags for a local hospital and hospice and made personal effects bags for the hospice. That's a nice idea. A lot nicer than give your relative goods in a plastic bag. That is a lovely idea, and it is, isn't it? Right. And I'm going to mark the four corners of this <coughs> by pressing it. That is glue off here, which is a bit annoying. So fold in half and press. I'm saying four corners, but it's a circle, isn't it? And then those two together and just press. Then we need to thread at the needle. We're going to do a little bit of hand sewing. So here we go. So what I need to do is to fold all of these corners together like that. I'm going to do it this way. It doesn't matter which way, really, but I'll, I'll let's see the plane on the outside. Let's go from here. So over to the opposite side here. I'll just catch this, the, the, the bit where I've marked. And put a couple of stitches in here to hold those two together. Vicky, make, making one of these, it's ever so simple. And I'll say no, I know they're all over the place. It's not um, my own unique design or anything like that. But I, the first time I've made one the other day, and I thought, actually, that's, that's quite fun. And they're really quick, and I th think they look lovely. So then the second two marks pull together in the centre. So you've got all of those four quarter marks all joined together in the centre here. So I'm just going to over stitch a few times just to hold those in place. Let's go back over this way. I want to make that nice and secure. I did put buttons on these ones or actually I glued them on to be honest. Um, but if you've got a bit of a if you've got a bead or a charm or a gem would look very nice in the centre there as well. And let's just knot this off. So a nice secure knot in the centre would be good. Hello, Nancy. Nancy's got a, a new Juki 400. Congratulations. Oh, that was right in front of the camera. Let's snip this off. And then we kind of need to squish it. So we squish the base out to make the base square. And it, it, it kind of it goes where it wants to go, really, but it's ever so easy. So we've, we've got this. So just pulled it out to make it square. So the centre bit kind of meets the back. Then we're just going to fold these open and arrange them. So it's really quick, isn't it? Where are we? We're not even at half past yet. 
So just keep folding them and arranging them until they all look the same and they're nice and neat with no creases in. How do I buy your fabrics? Oh, hello, Firefly. Um, my website is debbyshawsewing.com. So if you have a look on the website, there's fabrics and there's notions and there's ribbons and tools and scissors and cutters and rulers and we've got all, all manner of things going on there. But debbyshawsewing.com, S-H-O-R-E for my, my surname. That's that. It's quite sweet and you can imagine a few of these kind of hanging up um, would look, look really nice as a display wouldn't they the only thing remaining to do is to put some kind of loop on it to hang it up so I have some embroidery thread which I haven't got exactly the right color but I think that one will do whoops I always do that I always pull the wrong one I'm going to split this into three because I've got a big, uh, a big enough needle for six strands, to be honest. There we go, so just split that in half. Uh, Jane spent the morning cutting and prepping for rosy reindeer, snowman, and children's backpack. Oh, they do look like little parcels, don't they? But it's, um, I, I just, I really enjoyed making this. It's the first time, seen them for a long time, but it's the first time I actually made one the other day and I thought I'd, uh, I'd share it with you. I thought you'd like it as well. Oh, Julie Jane has got a parcel in France. Oh, good. Going to sit with a glass of wine looking at books. I like your thoughts. Okay, so needle and thread. Push it up into the corner. Oh, it's quite a thick needle actually. And then I'm going to make a loop. So I've got a thread dangling down here. Let's make a loop here and go back down and take the needle off. Then I can just tie these two threads into a knot. Out you come. Chop the end off so I don't have anything dangling. And that's the loop kind of hidden behind the fold there. And then a little button in the centre I think would look really nice. I haven't brought any down with me, but um, that's what I would do. I think it just needs a little something in the middle and those little tiny buttons I think look really good. Um, Same box tutorials, doing a tenth v-neck scribs tops with no problems. Oh good. Uh, Elaine's been making in the hoop popped holders. But now we'll start on these Christmas decorations. That's that. Remember, was um, an eight-inch circle. That was a seven-inch circle. I think it's quite nice to see the different sizes. It makes a makes a nice little arrangement, methinks. But I'd say I did I did see a hexagon one, so I thought I'd have a go. Um, apologies for this one not being quite right. I didn't measure it. I just thought let's have a go and see if it works. Um, so I, we'll, we'll do this one then. How big is the circle? That one's eight inches. I used a plate, Wilma and the smaller one was seven inches so at any size you like I, would, I wouldn't go too much smaller than seven inches to be honest but you could certainly go larger or maybe do a, a, a six and a half in the middle uh could you put a bit of lavender oh that's a nice idea sarah a bit of lavender in there'd be very nice yes it certainly could elaine loves the three snowmen those are on youtube they're a youtube tutorial if you wanted to make one of those um Oh no, so it was only 5pm last week because of my um, dentist appointment. Now this one, I'll be honest, I, I was, I, I don't, I, I've got one hexagon template. Um, I don't do templates very often, which is a two and a half inch template, which is way too small. I'm going to make one a bit bigger than this one. Um, so what I did was to draw around my two and a half inch hexagon template and then take my longer ruler than this one but I've added two inches to it so I drew along the template and then drew an extra two inches on each one of those sides just to make that two um four and a half inch hexagon that's right isn't it yeah four and a half inches um, so this is an experiment 
because I haven't, I, I've, that's the only one I've ever made. So that's, this is um, hopefully going to work. Uh, tooth is fine at the moment, Leanne, thank you very much. Um, hello, Gay Gaith, Three, is that how you say your name? What a lovely name. Um, Christmas tree used a cinnamon stick for the trunk, smells lovely. That's a nice idea too. I have actually just made some of those, to be honest. A wee gem in the middle of a really nice morag. So just like before, so I'm just shoving up a bit. I'm just going to sew all the way around the edge and leave a turning up so I can turn it the right side out. Yeah, it's clever, isn't it? Start off as a circle and end up as a perfect square. Clever idea. I wish I'd have invented it. So again, let's um, see if we can get away with a small turning gap. And I'm just using about a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Actually, if you, if you Google um, origami decor fabric decorations, there's quite a few different things you can do like this. And I think they're quite nice little projects. You know, if you want something quick or if you're a beginner sewer and you want to make something that looks lovely but um, you know, isn't too challenging, then these are great projects. Like, it doesn't have to be exactly a quarter of an inch as long as you've got a, a consistent seam allowance. Then we're back to the beginning. I think my turning gap might be way too small on this one. This time I'm going to snip across the corners just to reduce the bulk and try and make my points a little bit more pointy. Not terribly important, but Good practice. Is that it? That's it. Clear that away. And then, where's my owl? And now a left one. There we go, it's tiny. Bear with me a second while I turn this through. Snowflakes in origami. I've not seen those, Angelina. I'll have a look for those. Hello, Donna, for the first time. We're making bags today with my mum for an upcoming craft fair. Oh, good luck with that. So oh, that's going to be fun. Um, Nancy's got a guest bed full of finished Christmas gifts with a gift bag for each. Oh, thank you, Nancy. Nearly all from my books. I wonder where your fabric came from as well. You've got a whole load of fleece on its way to you. I, I, you can make loads of reindeers, I could imagine. Hello, Linda in Ireland. Anybody else for the first time here? Come and let us know. Come and say hello. Um, you, don't, you don't need to put a fancy comment or anything. Just hello. Let us know that you're there. We can see how many of you are there. So we've got 303 on YouTube and how many on Facebook? 207. Oh, it's not very often we get more people on YouTube than we do on Facebook. That might be a first. Um, so yeah, there's over, over 600 of you watching. Can't see you unless you leave a comment. So it'd be nice for you to just come and say hello. Hello, Linda in Ireland, and Maureen in Southern California. Hello, um, Amir. Is that how you pronounce your name? I've not seen that before. Um, Amir Beam, a lovely name. First time from Ireland. Hello. We've got Shari in Indiana. Hello to you too. Hello, Sean. Welcome along. Oh, this is so nice. Um, Celine in Quebec in Canada. Hello, Alexis. Alison's in Hertfordshire. Hi, Karen. Hello, Jeanette. Hello, Susan in Northern California. Hi from Cornwall, says Sue. Hello, Virginia in Texas. Hi from Maine, says Cindy. We're all over the place, aren't we? Jacqueline is in Canada. Hello to you too. And Celia in Rome. Oh, we went to Rome um, for a long weekend. Um, oh, hello, Natella. She's not new, but I want to say hello. Hello, hello, Mary. Hello, Caroline. So what do I, when I say come and say hello, I've got to say hello back, haven't I? Um, any news on the jersey top yet, please? I've had it made up, Mary. I've just got to do instructions for it, so hopefully it won't be too long. Hello, Irene in Georgia and Sue in Newark. Hello, Brenda. First time from Brenda. Hello, Brenda. Only book do you have handbags and multiple books? Um, yes. Oh, I've got, I've got quite a few bag books. I can't think off the top of my head. Um, hello, Renette in South Africa. 
Reka in India, hello. Lisa in New Mexico. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be nice if we could all meet up? Christian's in Essex. Hello, Margaret in Derbyshire. Uh, oh, Susan's got a ranger in fluffy fur. That's going to look lovely. Hello, Christine. Hello, uh, Loredana in, uh, in Veneto in Italy. And Dominica's in Poland. Hello, Christine. Hello, Debbie in Camberley. Hi, Sue. Hello, says Sharon. And Deirdre in Castwell. And sorry, I haven't missed anybody. Um, Rekha in India. Hello to you, too. <laughs> Asking for it when I say come and say hello, and you do. That's fantastic. Hello, Kim in Bristol, and Jane in France. Mary in Greece. Hello, Mary in Greece. Hi, Tracy. Debbie in Camberley. I did a pantomime in Camberley many, many years ago in 1988, that was. Um, <laughs> maybe when you get your sewing cafe. Oh, so we will have a sewing cafe one day. Promise. Alexis is in Chicago. Hello to you. Shell is in Hampshire. Uh, Trisha in Norfolk. Hello. That's a good idea. Um, right, so I'm, I'm going to top stitch around the edge, and this is probably going to go wonky because I'm still saying hello. Uh, Michelle's in central New York. Hello to you. Joyce in London. on holiday. I haven't been there for a long time. Oh, I'll say in Rome. I have to say, as a, as a weekend away, it was one of the most special holidays I've ever had. It's, you know, when you go for weekends and you just want to see somewhere, I've never been to Rome, it looks lovely, we'll go there and then we'll go somewhere else. I could go back to Rome every year. I absolutely loved it. We were very fortunate in the hotel that we stayed at, it was amazing, um, very close to the Vatican, uh, which I wasn't expecting to be, I know it's a Vatican City, I wasn't expecting it to be quite so big. I've never walked for so many miles in my life seen so many cats it was incredible what a lovely place you're so lucky to live there um hello debbie in a pool she <laughs> keeping her germs to herself michelle in central new york hello to you hello sharon in bristol and thank you lisa yes if you're a member of my half yard club you get 10% discount, as Lisa just said, on anything on my website, including the sale items, which will be coming up on Saturday. We're having a huge sale. We've got so much stuff. So we are having a big sale. Um, you don't normally see Christmas sales until after Christmas. We're having one before. Um, hello, Ika in Georgia. Hello to you too. Christmas tree picks. Um, Yes, I made those with a free motion foot, but you can you just use a regular running stitch. There is a tutorial on YouTube. Um, right. Oh, it's so nice to say hello to you all. So I've top stitched all the way around the edge. And then I'm going to mark the center point in between the points. I'm not using the points. I'm using the, the straight bit in between. So let me just make that neat. So, where's my marking tool? I'm going to fold this in half. And all oh, the lights have just dimmed. That doesn't look good, does it? And just put a little mark there. This is an erasable pen. So you could crease it, but I just I think you can see it better when I mark it with a pen, like that. And we'll do that in between each one. Hello, Julia in Spain. Carol's walking her horse. Missed that one. Walking across my horse field watching. <laughs> oh, I would love to go to Venice. That's, that's on my wish list. I mean, ideally, I'd be in Hawaii. That, that's my dream to go. No, no, I've changed my mind about that. Uh, Galapagos Islands. Uh, far, 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 far too expensive, but that would be my dream. But Venice is definitely on the wish list. I've mentioned that, I've mentioned that a few times, Gary, haven't I, going to Venice for a long weekend? Hello, Liz. Uh, hello from West Suffolk, says Eileen, just got back from walking the dogs. <laughs> Lisa's been on the bottle again. Um, yeah, it's a, it, it's a worry, you know. Bless her, she says she's teetotal, but you should see the empty bottles in the bins outside. Um, it, 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 it keeps the same. Right, so I've marked 
the center points and then we're going to join them all up um where's my little one that i did from this is that from that side yeah from oh or is it that and that, 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 that and that from this side oh i've put the marks on the wrong side then haven't i so it's only the second time I've made this. So I'm not pretending I'm an expert at all. Jane had a ruby wedding anniversary. Oh, in Hawaii. Oh. Hello, Burn. Newcomer. Loving it. Oh, that's Jan. Welcome along. I'm going to do it the other way. I put the marks on this side. I may as well, hadn't I? Um, so I'm going to go into there. And then come across to the next one and just in the seam allowance just join all these together like so first to go on a cruise to hawaii for my 60s but oh no oh gene i hope you can hope you can catch up on that one oh trace i'm glad you like it so this is the second one second one i've made so i'm hoping it turns out all right um hello from brisbane australia says susan we have a lot of people in australia this is probably a silly question, but every time I come to a corner, I hear you saying, make sure the needle is down, no matter how hard I try, it always ends up in the up position. Um, depends what kind of machine you've got. If, if you have a needle up down position on your machine, um, it should stay down when you stop sewing. If you don't, then when you stop, turn the handle, always turn the handle towards you because you mess up the gears if you turn it the other way, but turn it towards you until the needle stays down. Um, Love to visit England. Oh, Maria, you should, if you can. Lovely place to visit. The, I, I don't know why the birds are singing, Marilyn, because it's dark. You don't normally hear birds singing when it's dark, do you? Right. But everything's a little bizarre at the moment, isn't it? So let's join all of these together. So all five points come together in the middle and just arrange those so that they are together and then I'm just going to put a, a few a put I'm just going to put a few stitches across here just to hold it all together <laughs> you have no idea what I do for Debbie. My bin men can't understand I'm so bright here considering the number of gin bottles in my bin. Oh, Lisa, now you've let the cat out of the bag. Honestly. I can't let the bin men talk about me having all those gin bottles in my bin, so I don't see there's any harm in filling up yours. Drinks herself sober, does Lisa. Um love watching the new year's days concert from Fen. oh i've not seen that that'd be nice hello carol debbie why another gin bottles are you? I, I know i know i know ladrina i know she's she's really she's landed me in it now i'm gonna I'm gonna get talked about now just trying to think of something smart to say um my daughter's husband was stationed for six years in oh a dear friend of, in Hawaii. My dear friend of mine has since passed away. She and I went for two weeks holiday. It was lovely. I'd, I've only seen pictures. It looks amazing. Sarah's not a fan of gin. I don't mind a gin and tonic occasionally. And I like a glass of Sauvignon Blanc. And that's about it, really. Occasionally. You know, only every five minutes or so. Uh, hello Sue. Linda's just had her first haircut in two years. <laughs> but that was down to your waist. Right, I'm just sewing over the very central part. So the first one I made actually all came under and I didn't knot it off tightly enough. Um, my dad entered me in a sewing competition and won first prize. Oh, well done, Alan. You won a laptop. Amazing. Um, hello Charlene, first time live, welcome along. Six hours, oh she's in Missouri in the USA. I'm just trying to convince everybody that I'm, I'm, I'm just an occasional drinker, Lisa, that's all. So, excuse me. Um, hello Megan in, um, in North Essex, hello to you. Uh, a single overlocker or another, I've never had an overlocker before. Uh, uh, Connie, I don't think, to be honest, there's an awful lot of difference between one brand of overlockers and another. I, actually, I, my first overlocker was a Husqvarna, 
Um, and when we started selling Overlock, this is years ago, when we started selling Overlockers on Crate and Craft, it's exactly, it was exactly the same machine, but branded Singer. So I think a lot of the time they're manufactured at the same place and they just rebrand them. Um, but everything, all the functionality, everything was exactly the same on my host phone as the Singer. Um, I, don't th I don't think you can go wrong with it. Um, yeah, Denise, if it's an air thread, that would be amazing. I don't know if Singer do an air thread. I'm a bit out of touch with all the different brands at the moment. But um, if it's a four thread overlocker, I, th I don't think you can go wrong with that. Do you want to see what I'm doing? I'm chatting away without even saying anything. Um, so all I've done is to sew over the very centre part like that and just make sure that that's not going to come undone. I might, I might have gone a little over the top with that, I have to say. Andrew, I've already made that and now I'm making that, but a proper one. That, that one wasn't measured properly, so I'm doing a, a larger version. Um, your second project for the Half Yard Club, Anne, is the cushion behind me here, the one that looks like a... Um, uh, a Christmas gift. Really pleased with that. That I'll, I'll be honest with you. The first one, um, my friend Melissa made um, just to showcase my my last fabric range, and it sat on the back of the set here for so long. There were so many comments about it um, that we decided to make it your secondary project. So you'll have there's no pattern for it. You don't need a pattern. It's all squares and rectangles. But all of your step-by-step -step instructions and pictures will be out on the 15th. So that's your secondary project this month. Um, hello, Kim in um, Pismo Beach in California. Hello to you. Um, are we talking overlockers? They can be a challenge to thread. Easy to use, ever so fast, lovely finish, well worth the time and the investment. But um, that they can be a they can be a challenge to thread. However, if you uh, probably when you get your overlocker home, it will have some thread in it. If it doesn't come with thread already, it will probably. I think all, all the ones I've seen anyway are already already have thread going through them. So the easiest way to rethread. Um, oh, Joanne, we do gift sub uh, gift cards, gift subscriptions. I'll have a look on the website for those. Um, what you do with the thread is what you put your new thread onto the cones, three or four, whatever you're using, and then you can tie your new thread to the old thread, make tiny knots, make it really, really tight. And then when you put your foot down, your new thread will be dragged through the machine. So that's, and that, that's the same with the needle as well. That's probably going to be the, um, the easiest way to do it. Um, thank you very much, Julie Jones. New look, oh, it's a new look. We're coming for a, a young, hip, trendy thing. Hello, Catherine in Lakeland in Florida. Hello. Um, I know I go on about it, but Half Yard Club is really so good. Oh, thank you, Denise. Thank, thank you so much. I, re I really appreciate that. We, um, oh, I can't say yet, can I? Oh. The awards are being announced on Friday. Just saying. Um, Baby Lock has an amazing air thread. She loves it. Okay, so that's all the bits in the middle and then you kind of squash the bottom a little bit until you get another hexagon shape. It wants to do it, it jumps into a hexagon shape to be honest. But squish the centre down to make it flat and then I'm just going to press in between these bits. Geraldine, what is a strip and dip? You're going to take all your clothes off and jump in the river. It's for charity, why not? I think we should all come and join you. Hello, Cathy in Illinois. Bought a car from Illinois many moons ago. Teresa's in Bedfordshire. Hello to you. Thank you, Geraldine. Can't say yet, but... Um... Go on. Thank you, Julie Jones. Right, so I've just pressed those sides out. More hand sewing. Just move my iron out of the way. And we're going to kind of arrange these petals now. I'll just tie a, a knot in my thread while we're there. Um, like that. Hello, Jennifer in Manchester. Helen can't wait to make the new cushion cover. It's really nice to make, actually. I really enjoyed it. So we're going to squish this down to about halfway and then sew the point up there. Let me see if I can show that clearer here. 
So they're all standing up like little soldiers at the moment. So if you squish or squish the, the back of it down here, so the petal bit opens up, and then fold that bit up so the point's meeting that. I'll do that again. So squish it down here and just fold it back so the points meet and we're going to sew the points so I'm going to take my thread I'll, I'll take that off after this up through the back of it so the knot disappears underneath and then we're just going to sew the point to the point with a tiny stitch been doing it for about six years in the sea oh 800 women freezing their bits off I'm not surprised Geraldine but well done to you good cause it's a pleasure, Connie. Fabric origami. Colette, if you, if you Google fabric origami, it comes up with loads of designs like this. And they're, they're, they're really nice to make, really interesting to make. Chop that off. And then we're going to the, do the same with all five of these. So I've just um, clicked my YouTube channel off. So again, let's wrap that around there. Small buttons I think would look lovely. And again, just squish the end of that down and fold it over so the points meet. We'll do this all the way around. Do you like the hexagon, Lisa? So I only kind of discovered it this morning. I thought, oh, I'm going to do that. So yes, yeah, so I wish I'd have come up with the design. They're not mine. They're, they're just things that I've seen online and then tried to kind of figure out how they're made. But I, I really enjoyed making these. I think the bigger ones are easier to make. That little one was very fiddly, but there I didn't actually measure it, so it's all oh, it's come and done. So it wasn't very accurate, I have to say. Um, oh, see you, Shelley. Have a good night at work. Shall see you Saturday. I'll show you some of the sale stuff on Saturday. If you weren't listening earlier, we're having a sale on the website, a, a, a flash weekend sale on Saturday and Sunday, and it's going to be um, all things Christmas. We've got um, loads of fat quarters and pre-cuts. We've got lots of poplins and lawns. We've, we've got hundreds of lines actually that are going in the sale. The newer things won't be in the sale. So the fleeces and the, um, the William Morrises and things like that are not going in the sale, but we, we have an awful lot of sale goodies going on. So some are 10%, some are 20%. And remember you get your 10% half yard member club discount on top of that as well. So um, I think we're going to start about eight o'clock on Saturday morning. So we're going to have a busy weekend. Um, and I did say earlier, so sorry if I'm repeating myself, but last time we had a sale, it took us about a week to process all of the orders. We had thousands. So, um, so bear with us. Oh, stuck that in me. Um, bear with us over the weekend, but it'll be worth it. A bead on each point, I think, would look lovely, Jackie. So we go in. It's quite relaxing as well. I love, I love doing stuff like this, you know, sitting in front of the TV or whatever you do in the evening. Quiet time. Or if you're travelling. Just going to, oh, it's better. Just arrange that so it's neater. So again, just, oh, you see that. I did. Just put the points together. You won't need the gin, that's it. <laughs> Nancy and I will get you wobbly, says Sylvia. Oh, Lisa's wobbly anyway, so we don't need to do that. Pom-poms would look good as well, absolutely. So I think any kind of embellishments you've got, really. Do you know what I did? I, um, I'm going to make um, this elf, uh, actually going to be an elf decoration, and I wanted a, a, a beige pom-pom for his nose. And I couldn't find any pom-poms online anywhere apart from a whole string of about 10 yards of the things. Um, so I bought them. And I think they've been delivered today. And then I was having a rummage around looking for tassels for my daughter. And uh, in one of the boxes that I found was about 10 yards of beige tassels that I didn't even know I got. It's great Amazon, isn't it? Because you can send things back. Sarah's back with us. Hello, welcome back again. Thank you, Sarah. 
I love the half yard club. I think it was one of the, the, the best best moves I've ever made. I, I, I love the interaction and the and the people and you lot and the lives and I enjoyed doing the projects and it's um it's getting to be quite the full time job for me at the moment and it's um I think it's the best job. Jingle bells will be good as well. Right, one more to go. Um, the hexagon was four and a half inches originally, Elizabeth. Um, I'll show you my knot again in a minute, Alexis. There's, um, it's a really easy way to knot thread. I've shown a few times over the last couple of weeks, but we'll, look, we'll do that again if you like. Okay, last one here. So again, I'm taking the thread up the back of the point. And into that, and that was four and a half inches across each side, not kind of across the bottom. A bell at the bottom, I think, would look lovely. Tracy, thank you, Kate. There's um, there's a lot of you. There's on on the website if you if you haven't if you're not a member or if you are a member and you haven't looked yet. There is the ask a member section, and I think people are, are so helpful. There's a there's a lot of questions on there that might need a little bit of research that I just don't have time to do, but somebody always pops up and answers the question and does that research for you. You know, having websites recommended or things like that, it's, um, it's very nice of you to do that. Hex and circles together, Nancy, I think would look very nice. So let me just arrange that a little. Because they should work better than the earlier one, didn't it? That's better. Just needs arranging a little bit and then embellishing if you're going to do that. And again, just the same as I did with that, I'd put a maybe a, a, an embroidery thread or a, a, some cord, maybe some, you know, the kind of cord that you use for um, beadwork, that kind of thing, as long as it's quite strong. The thing with embroidery thread, it's okay for a while, but eventually the, the strands come apart. So maybe something that's a little bit firmer would look better. And a little something in the middle would be good as well. But it's a just quick and quiet time and, and fun to do, I'm thinking. Okay, so that was it. Oh, knotting threads, shall we do it? I'll use a black so I think you can see that a little bit better. Oh, no, Frank is out to have surgery on a wrist. Oh, painful. Um, Amir, I've, I, to be honest, um, I've had a parcel returned from um, Southern Ireland this week for no reason whatsoever. Um, I'm having a real problem trying to post anything to Belgium. One parcel has come back twice from Belgium, and I don't know why. We have all the customs forms filled in correctly. Um, but they, uh, most of them go through fine. I'm sending to America, Nancy is fine, isn't it? Um, but it just seems to be Europe we have, um, we have a bit of an issue with. Um, so but the Belgian one, I did end up refunding the lady, um, Sabine, because um, it was just getting ridiculous the amount of time we were sending this parcel out. Hopefully the mug that's gone to Southern Ireland this time will get through. All the, all the sent it by. No, no, nothing on the box at all to say what the problem was. But they'd circled my um, postcode, which was correct. So I don't know why they'd circled the postcode. So yes, we do post to uh, Southern Ireland. Yes, you will probably have to pay tax unless it's a gift. Um, but we can do that. So... Yeah, I just wanted to be honest though, we have we have had a bit of an issue with things. The tune of Jingle, jingle Bells, Batman Smiles, Robin away. Kojak lost his lollipop and found a Milky Way. <laughs> there were, oh no, I can't say that, was rude. Knots, let's do knots. So apologies if you've seen this before, I do kind of do it a lot, but people ask, so. So I've got my thread threaded. Um, one shorter than the other as you do so I'm just going to do a single knot in this one and I'm right-handed so I have needle in my right hand with point going away from it and then take the end of the longer piece of thread so the needle and the thread are pointing towards each other 
then I'm going to grab hold of the end of the thread with my needle hand and wrap this one round four or five times or six. The, um, I'm, I'm completely ignoring Lisa. Um, the more you wrap it around, the bigger the knot's going to be. So when I've wrapped it around there, and you see that? I'm going to grab hold of where I've wrapped it around and push the needle through and pull it out the other side. And then you can kind of drag the knot right down to the end of your thread. So again, needle pointing to thread, grab hold of the thread, wrap it around a few times, hold it on the needle, push the needle through, and your knot ends up right down at the end of your thread. And it actually comes um, an electronic, two months for one to come to me in Ireland, they're saying there is an electronic form not filled in by the post office. I don't know about that, Mary. Hello, Jackie. She's very late today. We're, we're about done. Um, no, we can't get any more Christmas Robins fabric, Alan, I'm afraid. That has completely now gone. They're not doing any more. Um, just taking one day at a time. Bless us, only just got home. <laughs> Honestly, Lisa, you've got everybody talking about me now. It's all true. Um, no problem. Alexis, I'm, I'm glad that, uh, that you found that helpful. Right, I'm going to pop off. It, it's a shame, isn't it? It's so dark now. It'd be nice to go and walk the dog, but it's absolutely pitch black outside. You'd think it was midnight. Um, oh, thank you, Sarah. And I, she loves the hour of yatta. Um, oh, hello, Alicia in Mexico. No, thank you. Thank you, for, uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Denise. Like lots of interaction, don't you? Um, I don't forget what Tanta Nancy's taught her granddaughter can't talk the gin granddaughters my knotting they couldn't do it the secret is pushing the needle to your other fingers thanks thanks Nancy time for PJs as free spirit <laughs> um, no problem Patricia thank you Nutella wants a face to face lesson. Um, thanks, Marion. OK, well, I'm going to be back again on Saturday. I don't know what I'm doing, but I will show you some of the sales. Sale. We're having a sale. Um, things that we're having on um, on Saturday morning. So uh, I'll, I'll come up with something. I've um, been rather busy. I've got a book to finish by the end of the month. I've forgotten all about it. Um, Valerie's managed the threading. Lovely. Um, right, okay, so thank you for joining me again this afternoon. It's been nice, hasn't it? Lots of you there as well, which I really appreciate. Thank you. And I shall, oh, hello, Cher Corbeau with the foo foo slippers and the sexy name. Um, I shall see you again on Saturday morning. So thank you for your company this afternoon. I've, I've so enjoyed it. I hope you have too. So take care of yourself, and I'll see you again Saturday. Bye bye.